Well, this video will show you how to convert your 3D footage that you shoot on your 3D GoPros and how to convert them into a 3D movie using the free GoPro software. I have a MacBook Pro. It is the latest version as of June 2013. It is not the Retina display, but it is a standard MacBook Pro. You can see that I have 2.4 gigahertz Intel i5 processor, and then I have 16 gigs of RAM. I tell you that to show you how slow it can be, even if you have a somewhat fast computer. So what I've done here is I created a folder, and I have both my footages in there, right eye and left eye. It's very important that you get this correct when you import your videos, otherwise your video is not going to turn out right. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on the GoPro Cineform Studio. This is the free GoPro software that you can get off the GoPro website. We're going to open this up. Let's make this full screen. Let's see here. I'm going to import. I'm going to start with the right eye. Just click open. It's going to show up right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click find pair and it brings this up and you can see it'll show you right here this is your right eye and like luckily I already have a right eye so I'm just gonna browse I'm gonna go to that same folder I'm gonna select left eye it's gonna pop that up you're gonna make sure that it's right and you click OK you're gonna see over here that it automatically shows up right here as 3D it's only gonna show you one of the eyes right here in this step and that way you can go through and you can edit it in and out. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to add it to conversion list. Click on it and I'm going to click convert. While that's loading, we'll close this. We'll go back to our folder. You'll know if you have the right clips selected, if they're about the exact same size. And you can see there this time they are the exact size. I've done this many times and they this is the first time they've ever lined up the video file size being the exact same. Generally they're within 0.1 or 2 megabytes, but that's the easiest way to know if they are for sure the right thing. So we'll go back and see how this is going. And you can see it's completed. So we'll proceed to step two. Now that we're in step two, you can see it has already put it into 3D for us. There's several types of 3D. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But you can see right now I have the playback half rev resolution, which is standard for this software. If you want, you can do quarter rev resolution or best resolution. Seems how we're not really doing a whole lot with it. We're just going to leave it at half resolution. And then if we want, we can look at, let's say we just want to look at the left eye. So it pulls up just your left eye. And then you can edit it in here however you'd like. You can add in the, the effects that are down here. For me, the easiest thing to really improve your quality of your video is just adjust the white balance, touch the dropper, find something you know is white. Changes your video ever so slightly, but it makes a, lot, a big difference in the long run. Now, whatever you do to the left eye, it'll happen to the right eye, so you don't have to adjust both of them. We can go back to the side-by-side, -side, and there it is. You can see both of them have been adjusted. As you play it, you can see for the best that you can tell that it is lining up right. You can also see over here that you have your 3D convergence controls. You can take that and if your video doesn't line up perfectly or if you export it and you realize it didn't line up perfectly, you can come back to these controls and you can see you can adjust it ever so slightly. It doesn't do a whole lot, but if, for instance, you're filming with outside the GoPro housing like I've shown you how to do, and one of the cameras gets bumped, you can come in here and you can adjust it. So you can adjust the vertical, the horizontal, and then you can actually adjust the skew, which makes it rotate a little bit. Once you have a final product that you're happy on, you can come up here and you go to File, Export, and you can call it whatever you would like. Let's just call it 3D Demo. And so you can see here that you have a, a few options for how you want to export your video. So you can do side-by-side, -side, which is YouTube 3D, or if you have a 3D TV, then this is generally the easiest way to do it. You just go in, if you have a 3D TV, and you put it into 3D mode, and then it'll generally ask you on your TV what kind of 3D you want. You can just select side-by-side. -side. They also have 
Anaglyph, which is the red and cyan, which is the old school 3D glasses with the two different color of lenses. I've never tried this because I have a real 3D TV. I don't know if it works well or not. You have the current mode, which is the same as side by side, or you also have the option to do just 2D if you would like. That way you can export it twice, once in 3D and then once in just 2D. That way both people can watch it if they have 3D or 2D. So we're going to select side by side and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click export. Here's our 3D demo right here. Play. So you can see I have a 23 second video and it took almost two and a half minutes to export. So it does take a pretty long time. Like I said, I do have quite a bit of RAM and it's a pretty fast computer. It just takes a while. Click play, you can see pretty close to what it needs to be. It looks good. So something to note is it creates an extra file. So the finder, all my files. So you can see that the original clip is just 60.6 .6 megabytes. But once we initially went to convert it, it created this huge file, considerably larger. And then when we exported it the final time, it's 46.5 megabytes. So it's not too large. And so you can just go ahead and you can delete this. You really won't need that again. And that's it. If you have any questions about how to record in 3D, or what type of housing to use to record in 3D, feel free to look at my other videos.